Jesus Christ died for us. Why else would I ask you this? Because the word of God says there is no one that is good and righteous without the sin. But all have sin and come short of the glory of God. But why else would I ask you this? Jesus Christ of Nazareth, He died for all of us. He died on the cross. He paid the death of our sins. Jesus died on the cross and paid the death of our sins on the cross. He was buried physically and he rose again on the third day. Jesus Christ is alive. Sin has separated my claim from God. It takes sin. Sin will separate you from God. Sin will isolate you from God. Sin will deform you. Sin brings soul. Sin brings separation. Sin will blind you even though you have eyes. Sin makes you deaf even though you have ears. It takes the gospel of Jesus to reveal and unveil that fear in your eyes. Because the God of this world has blinded your eyes. I came to bring you blood tidings that Jesus Christ is the way. But today, God is commanding men everywhere to repent from their wicked ways. God is commanding men everywhere to repent from their evil ways. God is commanding men everywhere to repent from their evil ways and their evil ways because the time is at hand. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Sin has corrupted the image of God. But through Jesus Christ, the image of God has been restored. Because Jesus Christ is the exact image of the invisible God. Jesus Christ is the exact image of the invisible God. My friend, through Jesus Christ and the blood is shared on the cross for the remission of our sins. Only the blood of Jesus can wash away your sins. Only the blood of Jesus can cleanse you from all of righteousness. It is the blood of Jesus that can bring you closer to God. We are saved by the blood of Jesus. We are saved by the blood of Jesus. My friend, the time is at hand. Repent, every one of you, and limited in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you may receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus Christ says, except a man is born again, he will not see the kingdom of God. Jesus said, except you are born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. Because sin has corrupted mankind. Sin has corrupted you. Because the kingdom of God is under incorruptible. It is only by the Spirit of God that you can be incorruptible. So Jesus said, those who believe in him, he gives them the power to become the sons of God. Even though we are all born creation, we are all not the children of God. We are all born creation, but we are all not the children of God. To be a child of God, you must repent. To be a child of God, you must pray. To be a child of God, you must confess your sins and forsake your sins. To be a child of God, you must ask Jesus to forgive you. You must accept Jesus Christ. You must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You must allow Jesus to be your Savior. You must allow Jesus Christ to be your Lord. And He will give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. He will give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, except a man is born in the Spirit and in the Word, he will not see the kingdom of God. My friend, we are living in the period of time. It is the beginning of sorrow. It is the beginning of pain and agony. Jesus said in a word, and it's a question to every one of us. He said, what is the profit for you to gain the whole world and then lose your soul? What is the profit? God is asking you a question. I'm here because even if it's only one soul, if it's only one soul tonight, I will give glory to God. The Bible says, what is the profit for you to gain the whole world and then lose your soul? What is the profit 